In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the percent of a number. Now there's two ways to find percent, but I'm going to show you first by using the proportion way, which is also the equivalent ratio way or equivalent fractions. So what the question asks is what is 10% of 90? Now to do uh, the proportion, you need to set it up thinking is over of equals percent over 100 or 100%. Hundred now, thinking of that, you want to also remember part over whole. Now, it's very important to think of the wording of the question because that will help you to determine which numbers go where in the proportion. So it says, what is? Meaning, we don't know what it is. So the question mark can go on the top for is. It also says, of 90. So it actually tells us what of stands for, of 90, meaning 90 will go in the of spot or in the denominator. So is over of is the same thing as question mark over 90 based on the question. It says what is, we don't know what it is, that's why it's a question mark. Of 90, we know that of is going to be 90. So we're going to set that equivalent to the percent. Now in the problem, it tells us 10% meaning <clears throat> that part of the percent is going to go on top. And percent is always out of 100%. That's why 100% goes with whole on the bottom. So our new proportion says question mark over 90 equals 10% over 100. Now, you can just cross multiply to easily find the question mark now. So I'm going to connect 90 and 10, and I'm going to know that that equals, I can put a multiply sign to remember, 90 times 10 is 900. So that means that question mark times 100 also has to equal 900. So in order to find that, if I know question mark times 100 equals 900, I'm going to do the opposite to find the question mark. So I'm going to take the 900 and divide it by the number that I already know, which is 100. And I'm going to be left with 9. So I know that my question mark is equal to 9, and I'll put that right up here so I remember that. So when you go back to your question, what is 10% of 90? Well, the question was, what is it? The question mark was with is. We found out after doing the math that it's 9. There's our answer. Now you could also do it with um, multiplying decimals. So in order to multiply, you cannot just use 10, and that's where kids get a confused very easily. They automatically think they can take their value of 90 and multiply it by the 10%. However, that is not the number that you should be using for percentage when multiplying. Instead, you're gonna take your 10%, <clears throat> and change it to a decimal. So we're going to drop the percent, and it becomes a decimal point, and that decimal point is going to move two places to the left. So that's the same thing as 10%. It's just in decimal form. So 10% is the same thing as 0 0.10. So I'm just going to put my decimal here so we know. Now if you have a calculator, you can simply put 90 times 0 0.10 into your calculator and you will be left with 9 or you can go through and do the extended math for that problem but no matter what you're left with a 9 is your answer so what is 10% of 90 9 is 10% of the number 90 so no matter which way you did it using a proportion or using multiplying decimal way you get the same exact answer of 9 and 9 which is 10% of 90. So in this video, I showed you how to find percent of a number.